I will shout cast a game after eating the ghost pepper hot sauce. May God have mercy on my soul. It's gonna be a <laughs> really crazy one. Oh man, all right. So getting on to the rift here, loading screen, connecting, it's gonna be the Yasuo coming out from Peter and Riven this time coming out from Phoenix. So this is a bit more even, it's melee on melee. Uh, but of course, we're gonna have that really elusive Yasuo dashing all over the place. Um, gonna be a while before they can hit that level six, so I feel like, unless he can get some really good Q harass, this could be Phoenix's game yet again. It's gonna come down to if he can really uh, you know, utilize Riven's kit to its fullest potential. You have to weave in those auto attacks in between each broken uh, wing to get that added damage. Interestingly enough, he's actually starting with the shield, so he's going to be trying to mitigate uh, and dodge around Peter's abilities. Trying to match his mobility, so pretty smart coming out here. Peter has yet to lock in any of his abilities. Of course, his wind wall we will not be seeing. It is uh, completely worthless in this matchup until level 6, when he can actually block the Wind Slash. But for now, not going to be seeing any points going into that whatsoever. Has gone ahead and locked in on the Q. So he's just going to be looking to harass out Phoenix as much as he possibly can. Yet again, the name of the game is Flash Ignite here. I don't think we're going to be seeing any differentiating uh, path from those summoner spells in any of these 1v1s tonight. It's uh, pretty much the best, unless you want to go with a flash teleport or an ignite teleport so that you can back and quickly get back into the lane. Minions have spawned, however, so have these crashing down that mid lane toward each other. Uh, the action will unfold quite soon here. Go. This is when things start getting interesting. That level 2 mark is really going to be the main point here uh, for Peter because he can dash around with that E, get into the face of Phoenix, uh, and really just throw down the harass. You can see he's utilizing his shield to mitigate any damage that he would otherwise take from Peter. Uh, so Phoenix doing good on that first ability. We will almost certainly see the Broken Wings coming in next unless he wants to get the stun. He could always dash forward, pop that stun off W. Uh, and try to trade off the auto attacks like that. We'll have to see what path he wants to go with. Uh, but, you know, both of these characters, like I said, very mobile. It's going to be difficult for either of them to uh, really get onto one another because Peter can just dash away, but also have to respect the mobility of that Riven being able to use the Broken Wings, use the dash uh, to get out of the way of those tornadoes for the knockup, especially post-6, where Peter's going to be looking to use that last breath and execute his ultimate, especially if he can get a catch uh, near or underneath of his tower. If, uh, you know, should Phoenix overextend. You can see them dashing through the passive shield there for that Yasuo, saving him from a bit of damage. Phoenix not going to get caught by the tornado, uh, but he has taken a little bit of, a little bit more chip damage in that exchange. And that's just that passive working to Peter's advantage here. Oh, going in, he gets stunned up. A lot of damage going over onto Peter. He gets knocked up in that displacement. Tornado not going to connect. Phoenix down to about half HP, though. Still think Peter coming out on top of this one. Both summoners still up for these guys. Potions are being chugged. You see, uh, of course, it's going to be that Longsword 3-pot for Phoenix. And that Doran's played one potion for Peter. So Phoenix needs to get that harass down. Force him to pop that potion soon. He goes in here, pops the shield, gets a little bit of damage on. They trade fairly evenly. But Peter still... Yet again, holding on to that potion, he's just going to continue shoving in this wave and keeping his CS numbers up. Currently resting around 18, that's going to be the massive engage right there from Phoenix. The Ignite taking one more hit. Will he go down? The shield comes across. Oh, Phoenix can't get in range to finish him off. Peter will be able to walk away with his life, but barely so. He's actually chucking the potion. Looks like he's going to stick around. This is really ballsy play by Peter. Picks up these minions. Phoenix, I don't think he's going to be able to really make any sort of play here happen unless he can dive in underneath the tower which would spell certain death for him tornado in the pocket of peter this could be his engage tool should he be able to land it? throws it out not going to connect under that riven 
Likely going to be peeling back quite soon. Phoenix goes forward. Not going to be able to find the catch for the stun. However, Peter dashes forward. He's got the knock up ready. Not going to find that fatal damage. Decides to go back and use it to secure himself some CS and keep stretching that lead. And these guys are sticking around. Ballsy play from both sides. Neither wants to back. They admit, uh, you know, backing at this point would be admitting weakness uh, <laughs> to your enemy. We see that knockup does hit, but Peter not quite level six. Phoenix goes in, he gets the stun, the broken wings coming across, one more auto attack, can he find it? Yes he does! Peter going down and we are, uh, we are two and two. Oh yeah, Phoenix with that cheeky grin.